Here we go. We got two hanger packs of uh, 2022 UFC Donruss. It says their debut edition. I don't know what that means. I got them online and figured let's do a short rip. So let's see what we can get. Here we go, first pack. Here we are, I'm not completely familiar with um, this year of UFC Don Russ, but there we go, the classic Don Russ look. We got Anthony Smick, Uriah Favor. He's a Hall of Famer, right? Derek Lewis, always a fan favorite. Ortega, Rakic. Jorge Masvidal, who, uh, I don't know how that match with, um, Nate Diaz went for the boxing. Gilbert Burns there. Now he is a boxer. Misha Tate. Mm hmm Tony. Is Tony done? If those fans out there are willing enough to come out here and fly and spend thousands of dollars to come watch me compete somewhere. I think he is, uh. I don't think how he can stay there in the UFC taking that type of punishment and still be on main cards. I don't know. Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Here we go with our uh, rated rookie, Billy Quarantillo. 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 On the rated rookie. Not completely familiar with him. There's John Jones on the production line. 238 total strikes. It is not good for your health to take 238 total strikes from one John Jones. There we go, Dustin Poirier on the Octagon Marvels. Zhang Wei Li, crunch time. These crunch times are always are always cool. We got production line, a, uh, what is this, hollow green? Significant strikes of Max Holiday. Did he hit someone 445 times? Jesus Christ. Is this numbered? No. But I guess this is the green parallel. We got, okay, here we got a few greens. Let's see. Magomed and Kalaev. That's a good one to get. We'll take a young Kalaev green. Macy Barber on the other green. And then here, I'm assuming we finish off with the rest of this base. Ferreira. Ponce Nibio. Watterson. Gutelaba. And Clay Guida on the last one there. Second and final pack. Let's get it. Okay, so this is the same pack twice again, starting off with Anthony Smick, Uriah, oh, Brian Ortega. This is the exact same order. Did I have a Pedro Munoz? Don't remember Pedro Munoz was there. Okay, it's changing a little bit, but those first, like, seven cards were exactly the same. Yeah, last time we didn't get a Sean O'Malley. Mm, Divash Davish Dalishvili. Who is our rated rookie, Paul Craig. Paul Craig is decent. Can't say anything bad about the guy. Craftsman of John Jones. And I guess the um, the green is the prevailing uh, insert here or parallel. Second knockout. Five. Five second knockout. Jeez. Who is our uh, Marvel one? Charles da Bronx Oliveira. Nice. Okay, Jose Aldo on a green. Diego Ferreira. A retro series of Royce Gracie. That's nice. I like that card. The green retro series. And then this seems to be the last of... Uh, the base. Let's see. Yeah, it's kind of ending. Okay, last time we finished with Guida. Who do we finish with this time around? Hey, Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker will be one of the funniest KOs that you will see when he gets KO'd. 
he can KO people, but when he gets KO'd, they are quite, uh, they are amusing, even though that's quite dangerous. Rafael Asunsao on the last one. All right, so just to do a recap of the better inserts and parallels that we got, we got the rated rookies, Paul Craig there, the net, the octagon marbles are always nice. There we got the Bronx and the, the, the diamond Dustin Poirier. The crunch time, you'll always get at least one or two of these. Craftsman of John Jones. Uh, the production line, those are pretty cool. There's John Jones again. Will he... Uh, Fight Stipe and then retire. Who knows? And these were, I believe, all the greens that we got. We got the production line green of Max Holiday, Holloway. And uh, then I think these are all regular greens. Jose Aldo, Ankalaev, not bad. Oh, yeah. And then we finish it off with the retro series green parallel of Hoist Gracie. So that was quite fun. Those were two packs of... Um, UFC Donruss 2022 to uh, value packs. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next time. Take care.